metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my thoughts keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis. Now today it's a striker from Chile, Humberto Suazo. He's playing from Monterrey. I think he got this Inform for a nice little chip. Now this guy's going to set you back bloody nothing. Now he's discard on both of them. So if you take that into account, you're only paying like say 200 because when you discard him, he's roughly going to discard for around about 9,500. So this guy's a bargain to be honest. But if you're looking for UT Coins, check out UT Coins now. The link will be in the description below. He's got a 4 star weak foot and a free star skill move set now looking at his in-game stats nothing really is going to stand out his ball control is okay his finishing is fine everything else is pretty much standard what you'd expect from a striker in this game let alone an inform he's got high to medium work rates which for a striker or any forward player on this game i would recommend you get those work rates he's got okay acceleration not the best in the world okay balance jumping and okay sprint speed so he's not the fastest in the world and i did find that to be a hindrance throughout the games because well, he's not really strong either, so when you get in front of players, it's not really going to hold him off. You can't sprint like ahead of him, you can't get away from the defenders, so he is very slow. But what he offers in speed, which is very nothing, he, he improves with that with his finishing. His finishing is top quality when he does get the chance. You've seen him in the first clip, nice little roulette, great ball to Mark Gonzalez, who finished impeccably, and that finish there, lovely little chip over the goalkeeper. And what this guy reminded me of was Carlos Tevez. If you've ever used Carlos Tevez on the game or on FIFA 13, or even seen him in real life, the kind of Bulldogishness, that's a new word I've just made up. The kind of bulldog attitude he's got where he just goes in head first for everything. This reminded me of Suarez, and I'm I'm sorry lads, but um you see the picture on the right hand side, the glare on his forehead. I just can't stop looking at that. So it's kind of distracting me from the gameplay because it's just hilarious. And you even seen him in his in-game pick as well. His head is so shiny, it's unbelievable. It's like he's went through one of those bowling ball machines where you shine the balls. But um yeah, I'm going completely off topic here by the way but he's pros then we'll get to it his price it's discard price so basically you're only paying 500 coins for a card that is it's okay it's brilliant brilliant card especially for his price his movement is top notch every single time and this is so unlucky two chips over his head and he just hits it and that is so close to going in that top corner now he's only going to get a four or five star because there was something missing from his gameplay but like I said, he is very, very cheap, and that is why he's going to get this 4 out of 5 stars. Ball control and his shooting are perfect, and if this shot had gone in, my god, it would have been a cracker. But he hit the crossbar so many times. The other con is his height. He's not very tall, so he's not going to win your headers, and that will be it, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Like if you did. Sub if you haven't. I'll catch you all next time.